Bowl football season upon us. Welcome to the News Journal Studio. I am Zach Dean. This is Chris Boyle. Playoffs just a few weeks away now, Chris. And uh, when you think of playoffs and must-win games for the second year in a row, we're going to get a Deltona Matanzas winner take all. Yep, Deltona Matanzas winner takes the second spot in District 13 6A. Uh, it's pretty simple. If Deltona wins, they finish the year with only one district loss. Matanzas mm -hmm. uh, would win the tiebreaker for the head-to-head -head since Pine Ridge, Seabreeze, and New Smyrna all have three losses. Uh, and for Matanzas, the question is, can they pick themselves back up? Having lost the last two games, 41 nothing to Mainland, and a shocking mm -hmm. loss on Thursday the, to Pine Ridge. Mm -hmm. So emotionally, where the Pirates sit is the question coming into this for me. Uh, Deltona, they've won... Six games already this year. They've they've had a really nice year. They've they come into this with some momentum. Uh, offensively, they were able to to get just enough last week to beat Seabreeze a, a, a game yeah. that maybe was a lot closer than we thought it would be. So it, it's a game in which I, I will really want to see where the psyche of Matanzas is coming in. Yeah, I mean, and and again, you look at this game last year. Matanzas loses that one. They've lost the two coming in here. Going to be a close defensive battle, but again, it's it's really can Matanzas get over that hump finally, and you know they're going to have to pick some pick up the pieces from the past few weeks and uh, turn it around. Uh, the other big game, don't have to call it a big game, but game with implications, big rivalry in uh, mainland of Seabreeze. It's always a rivalry game. It's the biggest game in this town uh, with Seabreeze and mainland. Of course, those teams are uh, in opposite directions this year. Mainland is going to is looking to finish a nine and zero regular season. Seabreeze. Trying to just finish with some pride here, especially offensively. They've they've come a long way the last three games. I think they've actually played yeah. their best football between the game in which they beat Pine Ridge. They gave New Smyrna a pretty good run, Twenty seven points. and they nearly games. upset Deltona last week. They deserve a lot of credit. The last three games they finished they finished the year very well. Uh, this is just a, a very tall task to try to even stay well to stay within shouting distance of Mainland, a team that's beaten everybody by running clock in, in this area. So if they can keep it respectable, I think that's a, that's a great job and, a, and, a, and a, again, a strong finish to the year for Seabreeze, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Now, again, even the, though the playoffs are a few weeks away, there are going to be a few teams, namely Spruce Creek and University, going to be doing some big-time scoreboard watching Friday. Yeah, if, we're shooting this on Tuesday, so yeah. I mean, we're assuming if University wins tonight against Oviedo, they're going to have to have help. They need either Lake Brantley to lose if they do that, then they are, they are in automatically, or they'll need Lake Mary to upset Seminole and force a three-team tie. Yep. Spruce Creek is in. Uh, they, are, they are in need of either a Jacksonville Mandarin or Sandalwood loss to guarantee a playoff spot, or they've got a three-way tie with, uh, with the, uh, the two teams up in Jacksonville as well. Trinity Christian, you win and you're in as far as the, uh, the district championship. Yep. Otherwise, Halifax could force a three-team tie. Father Lopez and uh, and Taylor are in very interesting scenarios as well. Lopez is uh, Taylor's a long shot, but Lopez has a chance. They need to win. In worst case scenario, they'd force a tiebreaker as well. It's going to be a tough task against the First Academy. Yeah, a lot of uh, it's going to be interesting. Last Friday, I think we both agreed it was probably the most interesting Friday that not a lot of us expected. I mean, congratulations mm -hmm. to Spruce Creek for just a monumental win. Pine Ridge. Pine Ridge University keeps their season alive. I mean, a lot of teams, Taylor having a strong season. Mm -hmm. A lot of teams with playoff implications Friday night. A news journal going to have you covered. As always, I am Zach Dean. This is Chris Boyle. Playoffs are right around the corner. We'll see you Friday night. Mm -hmm.